In Guyana, rice is our staple diet and we consume it almost every day. But as we enjoy our delicious meals, do we ever stop to consider the important role that rice plays in our agricultural sector? Or how agriculture on the whole is not only helping to ensure we remain healthy, but is also crucial to our food security? Do we understand that our most fertile soils are found along our low-lying coastline. And this is where over 90% of our agriculture can be found. Agriculture is one of the few sustainable sectors in Guyana and can become a main pillar of our green economy. It is a very important sector to our national development. Agriculture contributes 16% to our gross domestic product and is a major income earner. It also provides more than 30% of all employment in Guyana, and more than 12,000 farmers are involved in rice production alone. However, whilst we are mostly familiar with large farming enterprises, such as sugar and rice, we must not forget that there are also many small farmers who plant non-traditional crops, such as fruits and vegetables. We also have many livestock farmers, and the majority can be found in regions 5 and 6. These various agricultural producers contribute significantly to the employment in the country and are extremely important to the success of agriculture in Guyana. But our farmers are also faced with many challenges. Climate change poses a major threat to our agricultural sector. In the past decade, Guyana has suffered from its effects such as unusual periods of drought and excessive rainfall, leading to floods. Recent overtopping of the Kanji Creek led to massive flooding of the Kukrit savannas. This has affected hundreds of heads of cattle and destroyed several hundred acres of rice. But all is not lost as we are fortunate to have a network of water conservancies, which were constructed specifically to manage and distribute water to our agricultural sector. A network of drainage and irrigation systems overseen by the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority are used to regulate water needed by farmers. Our water conservancies are also very important wetland areas and are home to a rich biodiversity of plants and animals. But whilst our vast tracts of arable land have ensured our food security, it is essential that our farmers have access to international markets, which are crucial to the sustainability of our agricultural sector. Access to international markets will ensure benefits to the national economy and local communities. It is necessary that more opportunities for international trade are pursued. The recent milestone of government securing an export market to Mexico for local paddy is one such positive development. By buying and consuming local produce, we can support both our agricultural sector and our farmers. So the next time you have a meal, check to see what's on your plate. Are you contributing to our green economy?